Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you everyone who's kind of helped us to, to subscribe and uh, been watching the videos. Uh, today what I wanted to do was just do a quick video on this new trailer which we've got. Uh, as you know we've kind of got rid of the car and we're trying our best to kind of uh, not use our other car, only really for when we go away on holiday. Um, so we got this trailer because we thought this is going to help us out a lot in terms of shopping and, and carrying bulkier items that we can't normally on our bikes. So um, we've got the trailer here. Um, like I say, we've used it a few times. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about the trailer and then we're going to show you how it connects to the bike if you've not seen one before. And then I'll show you a little video, a few clips of us going shopping and how we use it. Okay guys, so like I said, here is the actual trailer. Now, we looked at a few different trailers before we decided to get this one. Uh, we looked at a smaller one, and we kind of thought we may as well get a big one because it would be a lot handier. Um, so, this one is fairly big. It's, as you can see, it's made by Rally, and it's the Rally Muir. And the wheels are 16 inches. So hopefully one day uh, when I eventually get a uh, Brompton uh, this will kind of go in line with that so it'll be the same kind of size wheels uh, which will be useful. Now the way it connects is it connects with this hook here and you basically get a connector which goes on the bike uh, onto here. And it's pretty straightforward basically you kind of connect it up, put the safety pin through stop it from uh, falling off hook it all up and there's this kind of safety latch here which basically goes normally I put it over the top it just connects to the frame so if anything if ever anything was to happen it would still be attached to the bike so it doesn't kind of uh, kind of come off and then basically it just clips onto the frame again there and then that's it, that's it, job done. Um, I was kind of, I know some trailers you can get which can kind of connect to the top of the saddle post. Um, and I was looking at those, but on my mountain bike, this, I've got 29 inch wheels. And I know that, um, for example, there's the Burley trailer, which you can get. Um, but we went for this one in the end, which kind of connects down the bottom. Um, I also think this is better for when we do eventually get uh, the Brompton because it will connect up to that as well and I won't have to keep taking this adapter bit off when it folds up uh, whereas up top I would if I wanted to put the seat down um, so that's why we've gone for this one um, in terms of riding with it it's pretty good um, this kind of it's a folding trailer so it can all fold down uh, we put these lights on ourselves so they didn't cost much money it's just a few uh, I think they're from the pound shop actually, uh, one on either side, um, so as we're going along, uh, people can see you at night. Um, I've got a back red light on the back, again I've had to put that on myself, um, and I want to get another one for this side, I'm just waiting for the bracket really. But in terms of uh, shopping, we went to Merry Hill the other day to, like most people, get the kids school clothes, and you can see actually that, um, you know, we've got a few different things, we could have got a lot more than this, but we struggled to get some bits, because they uh, didn't have it um, but you know these bungees are really helpful and that's what I like about these because um, it comes with this so you can kind of put bungees around it to keep stuff in place especially when you're going shopping food shopping and um, we've got bungees on the other side as well um, just to show you the scale of it we've also transported a few other different things so I'll just show you um, a few clips of the whisper so as you know we've got the uh, whisper folding bike which um, also fits in here as you can see from the photo um, but you know we're kind of seeing how it goes really with this uh, we've used it quite a lot um, well we've used it every most days really uh, for shopping and things when we've gone down to to Mary Hill or the shopping center we go food shopping with this now everything fits in so anything we get in a car this is this will now fit on this trailer uh, which is kind of made sure that we can use use the bikes a lot lot more um and we don't really use the car at all anymore apart from longer journeys which the kids wouldn't be able to manage um and when we go away on holiday um 
so yeah in terms of first impressions on this trailer i think you know it's really good and um if you're considering using your bike but maybe thinking oh you know i can't go shopping with it and you know bulky things um it's not if, if you've got something like this it, it makes it a lot easier um for example when we go shopping with this i literally just take the trailer in we, we kind of wheel it behind us so we lock the box lock the bikes up outside and then we kind of use this as a shopping trolley and then we don't have to worry about carrying bags either around the shopping center or you know if we're in the supermarket we can just pack it straight up um into the trailer and and then it's done then just connect it up to the back of the bike and then just go um so you know we found it really quite useful um but like I say, we've had it for a couple of weeks and uh, and, and it's good so far um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, what we'll do is we'll keep you updated on this, um, you know, and just if there's anything that we found could be improved. Um, but what I wanted to say was that's, that's kind of it for today's video. Um, and, you know, thanks for everyone who's subscribed uh, and, you know, who's commented on the videos. Um, you know, maybe let us know what you, what, how you get things on your bike. That'd be interested to know in the comments. Um, you know, do you have a cargo bike, for example, um, or do you do you have a trailer as well? Um, so you know, I think we'd really be interested in in hearing uh, what you guys do if you use your bike every day and you know you're trying to get rid of the car or not use the car as much. But again, thanks for subscribing, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.